you are writing the jump exam and you came across this question how will you solve it it is very easy now let's solve together the question says the equilibrium constant k of the reaction above is now this is the reaction above it's actually very easy so how do we write the equilibrium constant expression for a particular reaction now this i'm about saying must be noted it must be noted here that the equilibrium constant for any reaction at all which is symbolized as k is equal to the equilibrium constant expression for your product which is the k for your product and also the equilibrium constant expression for your what reactant remember a reaction has two sides we have the product side of a reaction and also we have the reactant side of a reaction so that is why it is k product divided by k reactant which is the equilibrium constant expression for your product divided by the equilibrium constant expression for your reactant now this i'm about saying must be noted so write the equilibrium constant expression for any reaction at all it must be noted here that solid and liquid species do not appear in this expression when we see them in the reaction we cancel them out because they exist as one but gases g an aqueous species aq appears in this expression so when we see gases and aq which is called aqueous species we'll pull them in the expression and pull them in the correct manner but when you see solid and liquid they don't appear you cancel them so first of all before we start explaining how to write them in this expression we have to check at both sides the product and as well the reactant side to check for product sorry to check for solid and liquid species so we can cancel them out so for the product i think i can see a solid species so this automatically become cancelled they don't appear in the expression and here as well i can see another solid species will cancel them out so we are just fighting with this gas which appears and also this gas which appears so how do we do that very easy so equilibrium constant expression k is equal to now we'll have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen now please note this you write them in a bracket this is what i mean so we'll bring out a bracket first of all you know we have divided by the reactant as well you write your brackets okay and this is for hydrogen gas h4 h2 i believe you can see that please don't write the number in front of it just write the element or the compound so it is hydrogen gas right it's h2 the coefficient which is the number close to that element or compound should be raised to the power should be raised to the power meaning that since it's four it's going to be raised to the power of four i believe it's clear whereby for your reactant you check your reactant this is water so you write your water inside h2o and the power sorry and the coefficient should also be raised as the power what's the coefficient four as well so here should be four okay so you can see how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress here it can be anything let's say for instance here was one million that's how you raise it to 1 million. Do you get the point? It's actually very easy. So with all what we've done, let's quickly check if it corresponds to any of the option. And in the look of things, it's corresponded to option C. So you can see how questions under this aspect are being solved without stress. So if you find this video lesson helpful, do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share these videos with your friends. Thanks for watching.